Hey guys, welcome back to this video series on the Postman tool. Now today uh, I'm going to talk about the most popular API um, in the marketplace, right? So it's the Twitter API. You will find uh, most of the um, developers are very fond of this API, right? So I'm going to show you a very easy way of how you can start working with the Twitter API. Even if you um, have never worked on it and you are interested in learning the Twitter API and how to use it right in Postman. So I will show you a very easy way uh, without if you don't even need to create your own um, API collection for Twitter, right? Getting all the uh, go through the API references and uh, getting all the requests and building your own API collection for Twitter. But I will show you a much easier way, right? And we'll also look at uh, what are the different um, different parameters which are required for the Twitter API, like uh, all the different access tokens which are required to uh, access or uh, to send a Twitter API request, right? Um, and we'll quickly sh uh, also show you how you can create a developer account on the Twitter API, right? So um, I have currently opened Postman. And as I said, we'll be looking at a easier way of uh, accessing the Twitter API, right? So in Postman, uh, go to new, and there, right, you will have lots of options, but I would like you to go to the API network, right? Here on the uh, very top, right, you will find the featured APIs, right? So these are already available in the Postman network, right? These are pre-built uh, API templates, right? Which are provided by different com um, organizations or different companies, right? So Twitter, the official Twitter app is providing this API for you on the Postman network. If it's not visible, you can also search for the Twitter API, right? So just enter Twitter here and it will show you all the Twitter APIs which are available. Now out of this, I'm going to select this Twitter, right? So if you see the description, it's the official Twitter collection, okay? So there are two um, kind of two APIs here, API version two and developer labs. Now I'm going to use the Twitter API version two, right? So you can just click on this run in Postman and what it will do is it will import this API in collection into your dashboard or into your workspace, right? So you here you can see um, the collection and the environment variables are imported into our workspace right so once it's imported uh, it will be shown in your collections right so this is the twitter api version 2 and under that you will see there are lots of different folders with different requests right so there are 15 requests which you can work with right so these are pre-built um, you only need to provide the parameters which are required and uh, there also will be a environment variable or environment created for your Twitter API automatically, right? So if you go here, you will see there is already a Twitter API version two environment created. So you will see there are lots of variables here um, and the initial and current value are empty. We need to fill all these values, right? So we need the consumer key, consumer secret, access token, token secret, bearer token. So all these are created whenever, when you create a Twitter developer account. Right, so before executing any request, okay, if I open any request, you need um, all those environment variables or those all those access tokens, right? So this is going to fail if you try to send any of these requests, right? So it will say 404 not found. Request won't be successful, right? Uh, also, we need to provide this path variable, which is ID. Uh, of a tweet. So we are going to uh, look at that. Okay. So um, the first thing which you require is to create a developer account on Twitter, right? Before you can access the Twitter API. Now, when you go to this developer.twitter.com, right? Um, here, if you are logged in, you can create a developer account, right? So you can click on the apply apply option here and that will uh, take you to this apply for a developer account page 
okay so here you need to fill some information before you can get access right so there are different options um so make sure you are choosing the right option right because you need to give justification if you are choosing something like professional building products or consumer products right now for my case um, it will be just a hobbyist right so i just want to explore the api and click on next so it will create a uh, it will take your username of your twitter account and it is just telling you that you are signing up for individual developer account you can also create a team developer account right this is your email address um you, it will ask you for these details right which country you live in uh, what is the name of this account right so i'll just give some name and i will click on next right now here again um there are few other questions which you need to answer before you get access to this developer account right so it's asking how will you use the twitter api or twitter data right so they are just making sure that you're not using it for any commercial purpose it's for your own personal thing right so just enter um why you want this twitter data right how you will use it so those are the questions which are being asked please describe how you'll analyze twitter data right so if you don't want to analyze then click on no and if you don't want to use tweet retweet like follow direct message functionality click on no uh, if you want to uh, display tweets or aggregate uh, you can select no right and you can select no so you just need to fill this um how will be using the tweet data so just enter that and click on next and that will uh, take that will kind of uh, it will take you to the review and then some terms and conditions which you need to accept after you submit um, this information right twitter will um, enable your developer account um, within some time okay if they don't enable that means um, there is something which you have not provided some information right so it's better to uh, resubmit with a different account or with the same account okay so once you get access to the developer account right you uh, will see this kind of a dashboard for your developer portal right so this is one of my accounts uh, developer accounts in twitter and you need to create a project right so this is my project i have got access to both 1.1 and version 2 access and this is showing my tweet cap usage right um, i have done 10 tweets out of 5 lakh so that's the limit and the most important part right so for qa script i have the app settings and also the keys and tokens now this is what we require right so there is api key and secret right and there is the bearer token and access token and secret so all these keys are required so ideally you should store all these keys um, at a location at at some place right but if you want you can also um, regenerate these keys right if you have not stored these keys okay so once you have created a developer account you will get access to these keys and tokens right so i need all these um, consumer key consumer secret right so let's grab these details here okay so this is my consumer key and secret let me grab that okay um this is my secret so okay and then um i have not saved this so i'll regenerate it and i will then use it here so yeah that's the better token so we will put it here okay and then we need access token and token secret so let's regenerate them so this is our access token and then this is our token secret 
So you need all these uh, different keys uh, to access the Twitter API, right? So, okay, so we have got all our environment variables, like all our keys and tokens, right? And now if we go to this single tweet, tweet lookup by single tweet, right? So single tweet, uh, we can look up by the ID, right? So we need to pass this path variable and then there are a number of query parameters, but those are optional, right? Those are search parameters, you can say. But this path variable, that's that's compulsory, right? Without this, uh, it cannot find anything. Okay, so we need a tweet ID. Now, how to get a tweet ID? So, um, if you go to any particular tweet, like which you are following or, um, or anything which you have searched, right? So, I'm just following uh, Virat Kohli here. So if I go to his uh, tweets and I grab one of the tweet IDs, right? So the tweet ID is uh, part of the URL itself in Twitter, right? So if you are viewing any tweet, the tweet ID is displayed at the last. So this is the tweet ID. So grab that, copy that, and paste it in the ID value, right? So once you do that, uh, and now if I click on send, Okay, so it will show me the tweet data. So this is the ID and this is the text. So brothers in the air, right? ABD Villiers is tagged here. So this is the text. And if you want to verify, this is the tweet data, brothers in the air, right? So that's um, how easily you can uh, access the tweet API. Right. Using the API network of Postman, I just uh, imported the collection. I just uh, grabbed all the token and uh, access keys and I started using Twitter API. Right now, if I show you another one, right? So this is a recent search. Okay. Now, this is accepting some query parameters so we need to provide that right so this is required here if i say microsoft right so my search query is microsoft and if i click on send you will see all the tweets which are related to microsoft right so there are different ids you can also grab one of these ids to search for your tweet right so these are uh, different uh, tweets related to Microsoft, which is this showing, okay? Now I can filter the results uh, by start time and time. There are many parameters. And I can also grab, as I said, I can also grab this ID and put it here in single, single tweet, right? And obviously you can do the verifications. You can pass this ID, um, through the test, like uh, creating an environment variable and then using this ID everywhere, right? So we have already seen this in my previous videos, how you can um, parameterize this ID, okay? So similarly, you can use any of these uh, tweets which are already created. You can create also your own Twitter, um, Twitter API, right? So if you want, you can go to the Twitter um, API reference right? So it will all be available on, on this uh, Twitter developer or developer website of Twitter. Okay. So I just wanted to show you um, this simple way and easy way of creating a Twitter collection and start working in few minutes, right? We just need a few access tokens. If you have a developer account already created, it becomes very easy or you can create it within minutes. So I hope this video uh, was interesting. Um, if, if you found this interesting or something which you like, then please don't forget to like it. Uh, and if you have any questions, please uh, share it in the comment section and I will get back to you. You can also, um, subscribe to our channel, QA script, like we have, where we post uh, regularly these kind of different uh, interesting videos on different automation topics. You will find many automation tools uh, 
videos related to many automation tools like Postman, uh, Selenium. Then we have Protactor, uh, Jenkins, Maven, and we are adding uh, many other videos on a daily basis, right? So please keep watching and keep liking our videos and keep sharing. So see you in the next video. Until then, take care and goodbye.